Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video, I am going to show you how you can write the MATLAB code to label a binary image and extract total number of connected components. Okay, so the theoretical background discussion and intuition I have already explained in detail in my previous video. I will be posting the link in the description box. If you want, you can check there. Alright, now let's see how we can implement in MATLAB. So what I have told you, I have told you in this extraction or of connected components or labeling for binary image, we consider this kind of neighbors. Okay, that is suppose we are at x y location, then we will consider x y minus one, x minus one y minus one, x minus one y and x minus y, x minus one y plus one. So this is what we are going to use here also. If you check the MATLAB documentation, you will be getting B W label. And this will give us label connected components in 2D binary image. This will implement the same algorithm as I have discussed earlier. Just you need to write BW label BW. Okay, A equal to BW label BW. BW is my binary image. BW label will label that and it will return the label matrix. Okay, and that is for 8 connected object by default. If you give the number of connection as second argument, maybe 4, then you will be getting the label corresponding to 4 connected object. Now you need to understand very carefully what is the meaning of 4 connection and 8 connection. If you check MATLAB documentation, here clearly written 4 connection means it will consider the neighbors like this, up, down, left, right. If you consider 8 connection, it will consider all 8. But simultaneously you should remember one thing in this particular case, you cannot simply consider down part and right part, right? Because we start traversing in case of image from the top to bottom and from left to right, okay? So when you are in this particular pixel, you cannot consider the right hand side and down part because those labeling is not done. So in case of four connected component, basically the neighbor will be only top and the left, not the right and the bottom, okay? Similarly, for eight connected object, what will happen? Only you can consider this upper, this left, this, this upper left and upper right, not this right or the bottom row, okay? Because those are not level. Remember this. So what I have discussed actually in my earlier video using this particular neighborhood is basically for eight neighborhood and for four neighborhood, what we need to consider? B of x, y, B of x minus 1, y and B of x, y minus 1. That's all. Okay. Now, let us check the MATLAB implementation and let us try to fill whatever we understood in the algorithm. Is that matching in this case also or not? So, CLC clear all, close all, warning off. Then I am taking one binary image, small binary image and then I am writing x, y, two output parameters. BW label A, that is first input is my binary image and eight neighbors I want to consider. So I am just simply running the code and performing evaluation selection. Now if I write X and enter, then carefully observe what we are getting. See, first let us try to derive from the theoretical background and then we will go to simulation output. You can clearly understand these all ones are connected, right? So this is nothing but one connected component and this two one, this two one and corner side this ones and this one are connected, right? So as a result, this whole part will be treated according to our theoretical explanation. This part will also be treated as the connected component as a single, okay? So if you give eight as input, second input parameter, you will be getting same expected output X value. That is first output parameter X we will be getting our labeled image where see, these parts are basically two, okay? And then if we write second argument, output or output parameter Y and click enter, see we are getting two. What is indicated by this second output parameter? It is giving us how many separate or distinct objects are present in our binary image, okay? So basically you can see that here one whole connected object and here one. So total two objects, okay? Right? Now, can you tell me what will happen if you just change from 8 to 4? See, what I have told you in case of 4 connection object, only our neighbors will be this one and this one. So, if corner case, we will not consider in that time. So, as a result, what will happen? This whole column, 3 columns of 1 will be treated as one object. These two ones, these two ones and these two ones are, will be considered as connected object, one separate connected object. And this one column, 
containing only one and these two one will be con connected as separate object okay or considered as separate object because here this one and this one are diagonally placed previously when we are taking eight connection then in that case only diagonal is applicable so we were considering this as whole object but when you are giving four it will con only consider the upper and the left part not the corner okay so as a result this one column and these two one will be considered as one object these two one this four one actually will be considered as one object and these three columns of one will be considered as another object let us check control a and evaluate selection now if we write x see one then here two 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 labels are two and this consider this column of three and this is three three so three object how you can get just write y that is second output parameter enter that you will be getting three because there are three objects present in our binary image that's all okay so this is the simple implementation of labeling uh, or extracting the connected components in case of binary image now some of you i know that some of you are very much interested in matlab and you want to know the code which is written without using any built in function and for that i am not making separate video in matlab mathworks file exchange it is already available you just uh, Check the link given in the description. Understand the code. Same like algorithm. There it is implemented. Okay, I will be posting that link. Some of you who are interested, you can check there. Otherwise, there is no problem in using the inbuilt function because we are going to not restricting our discussion here. Later, we will show you very powerful application of this concept. And there, whether you are using uh, inbuilt function for labeling or not, that will not be a matter. Okay, because there the output will be more beautiful than uh, this one. Something else is waiting. I will show you in my next video. Thank you for watching.